Hello again. I'm so excited to be here today because today I am going to be taking my Watchy that I assembled previously and upgrading it with an aluminum anodized case. It's a very cool upgrade. It's a very nice aluminum CNC cut case and I'm very excited to put it together for you. Um, for those who are not familiar with it yet, let me show you some details about the Watchy. Um, it is a fully open source and customizable e-ink watch. It's available at crowdsupply.com. Just go there and search for Watchy and it'll pop up. The kit is only $59 and that comes with everything that you need to get started. Um, and then the CNC anodized aluminum case is an additional cost because you would purchase that separately. Um, but it's a really nice case, so I think it's totally worth the upgrade personally. Like I mentioned, uh, the Watchy is completely open source, so the hardware is laid out beautifully, and there's details about how you can utilize all of the extra features that they have added onto the PCB. So it's really great for people who enjoy doing hardware hacking and programming. It's a very fun project to play with. Um, it, the $59 model, it comes with an injection molded case, which is quite nice, but I, like I mentioned, the CNC anodized aluminum case is a really awesome upgrade. So I think it's totally worth it. Um, it comes with everything in the box that you need, which we've already pulled everything out for that. Um, but if it was your first time getting into this, um, you could just follow the instructions that are listed here. And that's all that you need to know for how to put it together and get started. And then all of the additional links are located throughout this page on crowdsupply.com. There's also custom watch faces that you can program onto your watchy to, in order for it to display that. Um, we just have the basic version on here that it comes with, but there's so many fun different displays that you can use. And there's plenty more on the website, which is linked here in the crowd supply page. And not only is this open source, it is officially Oshawa certified, which is excellent, which means it has the best features of open source hardware and software being easy to use and read and digest and all of that. Let's get to putting this together. Um, I've already disassembled the injection molded case. Uh, it, the injection molded case doesn't use any screws. It just snaps together. Um, I'm not going to snap it together right now because I just got it apart. But usually there's these two tabs that pop up here and here. And you just need to pinch those tabs to then allow for the case to open back up. And so we're going to go ahead and pull this out. go. We're going to set this plastic case aside because we are going to upgrade to the aluminum case. It's so well put together and it even has button covers that are also made out of aluminum, which I think is a really nice touch. And this is held together with machine screws as well, so it's going to be extra durable. When you get your case, um, there's going to be a notch cut out for where the micro USB port goes. So you just want to make sure to line that up. But the LiPo battery should fit down inside of there just like it did with the injection molded case that comes in the kit. We can get it in there. It should just fit down in there nice and flush. That looks great. Okay. And we'll just want to slide the button covers. They should just fit right down on the side here, all around. And there we go. Just like that. Okay, and then the top 
Should just fit right into place. There we go. And that'll lock that screen down inside of it too. There is adhesive that came with the kit, which is intended for if you're not using a case at all, but this case should friction hold the screen into place. And for the screws, I generally like to put them in and hand tighten them just a little bit first, just to make sure that I don't accidentally strip any of the screws out. I kind of use that practice for all screws on other hardware applications as well. It's just a good safety practice. There we go. And once I know that it's free turning in there, so I know that it's got the threading correctly, I like to use the long end here. And I'll just go around and gently tighten it by hand. There we go. There. And I'll probably just use a long end to just tighten it down. You don't really have to tighten it very tight at all. Just enough so that the screws are nice and snug. There we go. It looks great. Once you get your screws all tightened down, you're ready to put on your watch straps. The watch straps, they connect the same as I did on the other case, where there's a tiny little hole drilled into the side where the pin locks into place. And it's spring loaded, so once it gets in there, it should be set. Same thing here, just pull that tab back. And look at that. We have a watchy that has been upgraded with this awesome anodized aluminum CNC cut case. Very cool. Like I mentioned, this is available at crowdsupply.com. Just search for watchy and it will pop up. It has all the links for all of the information for all the open source documentation for this project. <laughs>